Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the new Galarian Slow King. Yeah, Slow King. In the Ultra League Premier Classic Cup. It's so difficult for me to talk about this cup because it's just like so long. It's also early in the morning right now for me, so... Yeah, alright, maybe my voice sounds a bit different, could be the case, but here we have this nice shadow mark against us. And this is, I actually remember this matchup, I was so happy about this, because I actually get to the move just barely before I die. So basically he is shieldless, we have our nice looking uh, slow king, so I just have to look in the top left corner to see that and then. And we should be fine here, but I actually thought this would only be a seed bomb. I didn't know that he had so much energy already. Doesn't really matter though, because our obstacle is good against the rest of this team. And this is basically the problem about this core of the Trevenant and the Empoleon. You have this big weakness against the Obstagoon and Obstagoon. Yeah, if you you should use Obstagoon right now. Like Obstagoon is really, really good. And yeah. I played this team for three sets. I went 4 1, 4 1, and 2 3. And in the 2 3 set, I had like crazy hard counter, like this one. I remember this. I actually played like uh, other team before, and I had, I think, nearly all the time something like uh, what's it called like fighting types in the lead. I had also uh, Drag Knight in the lead, and here I just had like all the hard counter in the lead immediately. Where I was like, hey, cool. This team completely doesn't like X. Excadrill? Yeah, no, Escavalier, Escavalier. Yeah, he's here, it's, it's too early for me right now. But Escavalier, yeah, this thing just completely got through this team. There's like, there are not a lot of things that you can do against it. And yeah, we're not in the best spot here. My opponent has the Empoleon still, Empoleon. Just gonna wreck my Snorlax, especially because he didn't shield there, so good game there. But yeah, if you don't, if you can avoid his cavalier, you're fine. I could avoid that for most of the parts, so I'm almost actually okay. Tomorrow's team, there's also a Pokemon that you have to avoid with it, um, which was a bit more difficult, but still, I went positive with it. In general, I post like on Twitter like my results from my first few sets, and I went up like I think a, uh, ten sets, two hundred points or something. So it wasn't like crazy, but it was consistent, like. Would you complain if you went up 200 points for 10 sets? I don't think really. That is a bad thing. On average, I think I went like 3.5 wins or something per set. So, yeah, was pretty, pretty decent. Here we can go just for some boys. I don't know why my opponent like, shielded his Ampros before there already. Doesn't really make sense to me. I just shield there just in case if it's, uh, what's it called? Focus Blast because Ampros usually runs Focus Blast Summer and Dragon Pulse just to have the spicy move against the Dragon Knight, but the usual moveset is that you run the other moveset. There, here my opponent shields, I'm just gonna go into my Slow King, just gonna try to farm down. And if I have enough deck like, to just farm all the way down and get some energy, I should be in a good spot. My opponent has an Emporium in the back, Emporium is actually everywhere, even though it's like rank 111 on PB Poke, which is just there. Yeah, not where it's supposed to be, as I also said in my meta in the rest of the video. It's like one of the best Pokemon in the meta, I don't know why it's ranked so low. But here we're gonna be able to win this game easily, so that was not a problem. Next up, Trevenant in the lead, of course horrible, we're just gonna go swap out there. My opponent goes into Obstagoon, which I kinda like. Obstagoon is a big problem for this team as well, for the lead and the say swap in general. So having this here right now, it's pretty decent. I see that I can be able to survive two of them, and I can go for two superpowers here. I can align my own Obstagoon against his Obstagoon. And my opponent actually gonna double shield here, which is even better for me. Because now I can just go for one cross shop and this thing gonna be able to get over the opponent's Obstagoon. I have to shield here once, just in case if he also has cross shop because it just does too much damage. And my opponent has a Sylveon in the back. But we have our Slow King. He just doesn't know. He has no chance here anymore. Boom, Shadow Ball, gone. Next up, Fairy type comes in, we have some lag. He can go for a charge move, I have my shield still. Even though I would have most likely survived the charge move anyway, we can go for the charge wave and gone. And this is how cool this thing is actually. Like those calls, it can just break and I really enjoyed using it. It's not gonna be like crazy meta or anything, but it's really really fun to play and I think can throw a lot of people off. Again, Sylveon plus the Trevenant, what a surprise. But yeah. Usually the Snorlax is a pretty decent matchup here. I think we can always get a shield. 
So we are actually in a decent spot and I can avoid this Pokemon with my obstacle. I actually hope that he let this go. Eh, he doesn't. I was kind of fearing that he has double charm, but even then I think I have a chance though. I'm just gonna let this go because Psyshock Psy doesn't really do it as much. I'm gonna swap out. I catch the move, which was beautiful. It's gonna be seat bombs and he has a muck in the back. Oh, that's actually the team that I showcased before, which was in my uh, meta analysis video. That's interesting. I don't know if my team gonna win against this. I think because I had two shields, I'm still gonna be able to win against this. I think if he baited me there, I would have lost. But because I still had the two shields left and I caught the move on my obstacle perfectly, I think I'm gonna be able to win this. So maybe even some viewer, like if, if you hear like good game there, might be a viewer of mine or maybe like someone who had the similar idea. So should be very interesting. Actually, maybe I would have lost this if I didn't catch this move, but at this point I can just farm all the way down with my confusion and I don't really have to care about anything anymore. Good game there. Next up, Swampert lead, of course, horrible. We have a poison type in the lead. We're gonna go into our stage up. Goes into S Cavalier, and we're getting hard countered. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. I mean, it happens. But like yesterday, I actually felt the algorithm so, so much. No, I don't believe in that, and it's completely uh, nonsense theory, by the way. So I don't, don't even like argue about me with that. But like, I yeah, had like uh, other team, which you're gonna see tomorrow. And I also had like only the S Cav leads, which I really would have liked to see with my first team and stuff like this. And my third team, which I built, which you see tomorrow, is like more built for what I've seen in the lead for the first set team, which you already saw uh, in the night. So I thought, that, well, that's most likely gonna be really good. And then like I just got hot content a lot, but it still was really good actually, which was interesting, even though there was also a flaw in the team, which usually is not the case. But I didn't have the right moves at the one Pokemon, but I also didn't want to change it, so... Yeah, you're gonna see. You're definitely gonna see. Sadly, this will be not a win for us. Even though we can be able to catch this move here perfectly, we won't be able to KO him with a one cross jump here. So, good game there. Close one still, even though it was kind of a hard counter line. But this is like something that's going to happen anyway. We have a good lead finally. That's be really cool. Sylveon, stay in here, please. Just do it. Thanks. I'm just going to farm him like a very low, so I have like 100 energy. My opponent goes into the air. Dragon Knight Ash. I can just go for uh, this Shadow Ball. Go into my Snorlax. Have a shield advantage. Now can go for the Body Slam. And we are fine. We can just go here for some nice Body Slams. And this, I actually hear the Dragon Claw, which I mean, okay, I know at least now for sure that this is also only a Dragon Claw. So I'm kind of fine with that. But it would have been cooler, of course, if he threw the Hurricane or Draco Media. And here, I don't know what my opponent did, because I, there was no real reason for him to swap out like this. Like, literally, like, why? If it's the superpower, I think that was too early anyway. It couldn't even have been the superpower there, so that was kind of a mistake on my part. Doesn't really matter. As we can farm down, we have night stashes for the Sylveon, which is gonna be enough to KO that thing anyway after a while. So, Obstagoon is a Sylveon counter confirmed because it's only a Psyshock, which I have no idea why my opponent even threw that. It basically does as much as a charm anyway, so. Yeah, we're just gonna farm down with the slow king just for fun. Next up, we finally we have a Dragon Knight lead. I mean, it's not a good lead or anything like this, but it's at least not Escav. And we saw Peyton here into the Hurricane. We can swipe that. Like a normal Dragon Knight is not as scary as a Shadow One. And I can go for the superpower here. My opponent shields could, could shield there on his spot. I can go for another move here. He doesn't shield, which is fine. And I actually go into my Slow King, I think, just to yeah to get rid of the energy there. At this point, I was hoping it was Gengar in the back because he, he had this team once with Gengar and once with Askev in the back. With Askev, I would have lost already at this point. So I was like hoping for Gengar and I was playing for all that basically. But we have to see here. He goes into the Dragon Knight actually shields against me, which is interesting. And I hope I can farm down now. He has a Magnezone in the back. So even a different team. But also a very interesting team, yeah. Dragon Knight Double Steel in general is like such a nice combination, but he doesn't expect me to get to the move here as fast, and I can just farm down with my Slow King. And you see, I actually would have got a really, really, really sick IV ranked Slow King if uh, Niantic didn't screw me over and gave me a Slow Brow instead. There was like a big bug, and all they gave me is like 
I think one instance and one slow bro back and that's uh slow bro no slow poke back galera and slow poke back and that was like for everybody and i thought that was like kind of iffy because yeah cool now i wasted the pokemon that would be really good in the league that had really good davies for literally nothing and now it's completely unusable because i got the wrong evolution from that like and you give me a, a pokemon basically back the pre-evolution which has a really bad iv and literally nothing really back in other than that like cool things very cool but yeah it's like sadly how Niantic is at least we get we got something back but still like well, it was kind of sad here against the travel and we can go for the night search hopefully here i actually got a lot of boost i actually i didn't even know that i get the boost at this point so that was hilarious but this is gonna ensure the win anyway for me it's not i don't think it would have mattered that much i guess it would have actually mattered would have uh yeah i think it would have mattered that's hilarious so thank god i got the boost but yeah Against the Dragon Knight, I always go for three confusions and then swap out because at three confusions he is at one Dragon Claw. And he actually goes for Hurricane to Shield, that's good. And we can go for the charge move there. He's already low, that's really good. And he does not get to another Hurricane in time, that's definitely a Dragon Claw. So we're gonna be able to win this match up here. And we have equal shields, and I don't think he can really farm me down here at this point. So can he? Like he's, I mean, he's a shadow version, so his much shots as more. But like, I'm a thick boy. I'm a rank one Snorlax actually, which I got from the make up event for GoFest, I think last year, and yeah, I was pretty happy with that. That was just a random catch. I don't have maps or anything like this. What other people have to get a good IV. So every IV spread that you see from me is either like being lucky from trade or like being lucky from catching stuff. So yeah. Just in general, like I don't have any of those maps that other people use available to me and I also don't really like them to be honest. I think that's more cheating than any other thing like Tefit or whatever. Just because you can get good IVs and candies and everything basically with that. And the maps use always spoof accounts to get those information. There's no other way right now. It was different in the beginning because people just went into the API from Niantic and just got the data from that but right now it's like um because that caused a lot of server issues they basically changed and then this is not possible for people from the outside to do and right now like the only way to do those maps if you use one is with booth accounts so i'm not really the biggest fan of that either and yeah it's a really big advantage for other people and i think it's even bigger advantage than people just like having those walk thingies or whatever so, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna complain about anybody how, how they play their game. I think that's also something I, if, if you're happy with how you play like why would I care about if you like play differently or whatever than me or like the other people if you're fun you're fun that's fine for me See a lot of con uh, talk about this on Twitter where like people are toxic about this, but yeah, I don't know He actually waited for the quick move to go through from my opponent so I can snipe him Which was really cool that he actually went for the quick move there, which was really nice for me And we have a channel lure against us, which is very interesting very cool Pokemon And I think we had some lag after this <laughs> I think here. Yep. I wanted to throw my charge move didn't work out really well But hey, we can still throw it we can swap out here and he throws a shadow ball into my Snorlax That's how you always want to have it Goes into the Dragon Knight. Very interesting team though. Shen Lua is definitely a very interesting Pokemon in general. But yeah, I would never showcase that anyway, so. Here we have the body stem from the Snorlax. Gonna be able to put him low enough that he throws his charge move. I don't think I would have been able to farm down in time, but I take this. And now it's my slow against the world. And I actually did I screw this game up. I think I screwed this game up. Yeah, I stayed in here for way too long. I'm an idiot. Uh, and I threw the move here where I didn't have to. I mean, I had to try to see him Pita anyway. But didn't work out that well here. And he can go just, just for two moves and gonna be able to KO me. I'm barely gonna lose this matchup. Uh, I, I, but I could have played that very better. De definitely that was a winnable game. If I swapped out immediately into my obstacle, I would have been able to win this game most likely. But not like this. And yeah, this was my own fault. 
which is something you can learn from like in general like looking at your own gameplay and see where you fail is way more important than like i don't know watching someone how to play the game or whatever if you already played like 1000 games at this game but just like seeing your own flaws is the most important things anyway that's also how i basically got better over time it's also i think the reason like being all of this youtuber is so good i think it's just like because they watch their own gameplay the whole time and see where, where they do it wrong and where or not it's it's it just helps a lot to be honest here we have the Tremnant, at least against us. I hope that I get some shields because I have to win this last game with my Slow King. I have to farm on this Needle Queen. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Goes for the Seed Bomb here. That's fine for me. I can go for some Night Slashes. I definitely survive another Seed Bomb, I think. They kind of want to. Yeah, you kind of want to let it go. She got to swap out here. He swaps into the Needle Queen. I am gonna hope he baits me here and he didn't but I still survived that and I can farm him down and at this point I can just go for a shadow ball I think I've still a move stored on my other thing or it's like close to it and I can actually throw my charge move here now I'm gonna be able to win this game thanks all for watching